<laughs> All the power-ups are from Street Fighter. I just shoot an Hadouken at another player. It's the time for the package from China. Let's go. I want to welcome you to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in because in this video we're going to do a quick look at the Raspberry Pi portable device. So when it comes to let's say AliExpress you can find all of these arcade boxes. Funny thing is they are using most of the time the same kind of let's say version but when it comes to the casing in the inside it is quite different. We have Pandora's boxes, Raspberry Pi 3 and 4. So let's remove the panel or the control panel it can be removed by basically like removing four screws and let's take a close look already in the inside so the raspberry pi 3 i think it's a very cool piece of technology still even nowadays yeah the positive thing is like it's way cheaper basically to get like the pi 4 because the pi 4 is absolutely crazy expensive so let's remove a couple of cables you can see there is not a lot of room for removing the control panel so it's going to be like an like quite a lag and hassle if you want to remove the joystick and buttons but okay, so let's take a close look in the inside. So here you can see we do have like different PCBs, one for the battery compartment, but in the inside also finding of course the Raspberry Pi. Then we're having like the basic connector like for a Pandora's box, but unfortunately we cannot really modify this version from the Pi to the Pandora's box due of the way the casing itself looks at the bottom. So we're stuck with the Raspberry Pi. Maybe you can like upgrade it to a Pi 4, but also that's going to be a hassle simply because this Pi 4 has different connections for the HDMI and the power supply but also in the inside we're going to find ourselves like a separate board for the monitor and of course a separate board for the input for the power supply itself and of course we have one big hole at the back and that's basically for the Raspberry Pi where you can connect your controllers and also the device is really portable because we can add ourselves batteries and make it portable so completely basically for a couple of hours I think it's pretty damn cool but they don't give you the batteries you need to buy them separately but okay, so we do have like the option to add ourselves like a pile of games and with the Pi 4 we can even play easily to PlayStation 1. It's super interesting. This thing comes with a recall box installed. We also have the ones with RetroPie, so you double check where you're going to find it, buy it, not only for the price but also what kind of software. The tiny screen that comes with it, I think it was a 10 inch. It does have like a pretty good view angle but I think it's not an IPS display. But okay, so what you're going to see is basically we have a massive support when it comes to the games itself. So for example, here we're having Atari. Uh, if you just love to play some Lynx, like, I don't know exactly if some of the games look great because simply because some of them are like made for a very tiny display. But Vertrex, Virtual Boy, there's so much stuff we can play with the Pi 3. So where a lot of people are a big fan of Pi 4, including myself, when it comes to the power and the possibilities, I think the Pi 3 shouldn't be forgot. Simply because when you're looking at this, it's absolutely great. Doom, like all the classic ones, Neo Geo, if you want to play some Neo Geo CD, play some MAME, Super NES, um, think about Sega System Bit era in general, there is so much cool stuff that we can actually play on this. Compared with the Pandora's Box version, we do have two extra buttons. They are absolutely needed if you want to, let's say, go back into the menu. Of course, they program them, like depending over the Rico Box or the Retro Pi. In the end, we're going to need the extra buttons. Works like a charm. No weird screen tearing, no frame drops, it looks pretty nice. Right, master system. Oh, <laughs> did look. Oh, it looks really bad. Oh man, you need to press both buttons to jump. Bad. Why can I? Why does it stop? What also was very funny is that this is something the Pandora boxes don't support are basically hack games. So this is what you're going to get with the 
<laughs> they get right and no brew games <laughs> or hacked games. Really funny. An emulation of Mega Drive is very good. buttons my buttons are not wrapped correctly This is something I have never seen before, so I just needed to show it. Hyper card fighting. <laughs> As you can see, what the heck is this? are from Street Fighter. I just shoot an Hadouken at another player. But in the end, when you're looking at the Pi Portable number three, if you can buy this thing for cheap, not a lot of money, I think it's still worth it. There are so many stuff you can basically play with this. So you don't particularly don't need to like a very expensive Pi 4 just to play in a certain amount of retro games. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you prefer the Pi 3 or over the Pi 4 when it comes to, let's say, just the 8-bit, 6-bit stuff? Or just want to have Pi 4 and pay more money? Thanks for watching, consider subscribing, and it will be great to see you in the next video.